Matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. The Russian is 29. The Australian is 31. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. If it is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mechakala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch him up. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. The classic styles, in some respects, between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem engaging in the fight. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, 
collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. A oh, little single collar tie there. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Muay Thai plump. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands with the mouth. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and he's able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. So if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode it to you. And when he gets his hand blocked, you're going to go wide. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fight. Rips the body there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Effective jab there by Volkanovski. Just misses there with the left. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Pretty good right hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness, moved the head back inside, turned that double into a single, sprawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice punch there by Volkanovski. Tries to work it into a takedown. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. A single collar tie, switching stances here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Nice counter left hook. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Ooh. Round two straight ahead. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Jim? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, 
but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Ball lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. That's a big strike right there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Volko. Left hand punch with the clinch. Right hand punch. Oh, with the beautiful clinch. job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big elbow! Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown, but now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Oh, huge block! And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Volker. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. That one stuck in. Nice strike. All right, single collar tie now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Another takedown attempt, not there. Again, they clinch. Oh, a huge block there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big hook. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. He did a great job securing that ankle bit, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. What a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Battle for position here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Shades of the Hall of Famer Randy Couture with the dirty boxing here. And I know you can speak to a lot of the little movements and spaces that he is obviously maximizing. He's doing a great job of just following the blueprint from Randy Couture to the next guy, to the next guy, to the next guy that have allowed them to go to the top of the sport. Let's see if it takes him to the top of the sport. You're too humble to say Daniel Cormier, huh? A little bit too humble to say that. Just humility just <laughs> pouring out of your veins right now. Straight punch lands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Volkanovski's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. 10 minutes in the books. 
All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds? And there comes the separation now. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. A little single collar tie there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Left hook, right hand. Collar tie, stuffs the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch in the clinch. Big and kick. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two, Shoot there. Shoot throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ground and pound here, or if you're gonna go to a submission. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, side control now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. 
Lands the ground and pound strike. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Takedown defense holds up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Solid strike on the ground. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Nice loop and punch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Tie. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively. Protect. Oh! Whiffs on the elbow. Oh, big left. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Two minutes remain in the round. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Volkanovski. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. 
no, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. How good is that right hand? Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, Tomaszko's eyes closing up now, not good for him. Throws the right hand there. Oh, he has landed a... Wow! Oh, he dove and he lands. What? He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round four. No, 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 no. All right, so that's the end of the round, and the fighter's eye is starting to swell pretty badly here, Joe. There's only so much they can do with the end swell here between rounds. Maybe even they call the doctor in at some point in time. The eye is not swollen shut, but it is certainly moving in that direction. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fights. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fifth and final round. Punches in bunches. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, Konofsky's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkanovski. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Volkanovski's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Volkanovski's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Under three minutes now to go round five. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Back to the feet now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing. Big shot. Oh, beautiful fire. entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move to half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, 
you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, Volkanovski's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a really good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch his up kick. Notice how he leaves with his hip when he goes to land the strike. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Final seconds of the fight. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected, 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion, because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the Hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished for the champion here tonight. Congratulations, he is still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. You know the challengers are gonna keep on coming, but this man is still the hunted, at least right now, at 155.